In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to use the lens flare effect in Premiere Pro CS6. Lens flare is the reflection of the light, which is scattered by passing through different sources of light when the camera is diagonally angled against hard light. It is totally dependent on the focal length of the respective lenses, and that's how the lens flare is generated. The effects can easily be placed on a clip through the effects library. For that, move forward in the timeline to see when and where the lens flare is needed. For example, in this case, we would need a lens flare when the sun is just about to set. For that, go to the effects panel and type in lens flare. From the options, drag the effect to the timeline. To configure the effect, move over to the effect control panel and go to the lens flare option. In flare center, you will be asked to place the effect with the actual source of light, whether on the y-axis or x-axis. Flare brightness allows you to configure how much light should be produced. For example, here we are putting up 80% for the brightness, since that's sufficient enough for this scenery. You can also switch between the different types of lenses. For example, 50-300mm zoom, which is the default value and also used by most of the editors. But you can also switch to 35mm prime or 105mm prime depending on the focal length of your lenses used while shooting. In this case, we would be selecting the default lens type, that is 50-300mm zoom. Now change the blend mode value to 60, which will add softness to the flare. Once done, preview the video. Here you can see that the effect is not animated, according to the scene, which makes it kind of useless. To make this effect more dynamic, go to the flare center option and click on the toggle animation button. Now animate the effect on the y-axis by connecting it to the source of light in the clip, that is the sun in this case. Now hit enter to render and start to preview your newly edited sequence.